Today we're going to have a look at layers, layer combinations, a bit more detail. I've had a question in terms of how do I create layer combinations or set them up or divide my model into layers in order to create the different types of drawings. So I'm going to go through uh, very briefly layers, very briefly layer combinations, but most importantly for the use of being able to set them up to create drawings or views. So we're currently in a 3D view. What we'll commonly find is in a 3D view we want most layers to be on. Sometimes I will have a layer combination. Um, this one's called 3D visualization. In order to be able to just click at once rather than having to turn everything off, sometimes I, I want to have some layers turned off. Uh, lighting lamps may be one of those things that I choose to turn off. Now if it's a very complicated model, I may also choose to turn off something like furniture so that that allows me to, to orbit, to move around, or to explore using this little person which allows me to uh, view the model in 3D and I can do this more efficiently sometimes if I don't have much furniture on or if the furniture is very very simple. So this is just a, a very simple approach. We can see that the 3D model is a little bit bare uh, but this is how we can explore our 3D model. Now the intention is with our project map our stories are the way that we break up information over different levels. And if I just make sure I've got all the layers turned on, we can see that sometimes this there's too much information, more than we would necessarily want to see. This project's not highly developed, so there's not uh, masses of information, uh, but we can see that this is too messy because there's too much information happening here at the moment. Uh, but this is all the information as we require it. And then the intention is we will now turn some layers on and some layers off in order to create particular types of views. So let's have a look at that. Let's go again command L or the other way of getting to layers is option element attributes layer settings. Now what we want to do, the way that I create this, slightly different, I've customized my template from the Archicad template, is to create a layer combination which matches up with each drawing. So we could therefore say each layout or each type of layout. So if we switch to the layouts for a second, we see that we've got different types of site drawing, so site location plan, detailed site plan. Uh, sometimes I have other ones up here such as um, site analysis plan, maybe there's a, a set out plan, survey set out, um, maybe shadow diagrams, notification plan. Then we'll have general arrangement plans. So these will be things like floor plans. We can also count um, elevations and sections as general arrangement plans, uh, but let's just stick with the plans. So then we see reflected ceiling plans, electrical plans, lighting plans, joinery and finishes. So we're still talking about plans and the way that my system works is we can see it's still a plan because it starts with a two, 2000. A for architecture, 2000 for the plans. And then when we get down to three, 3000 is for the sections, elevations, 4000 and so on. So this is a way that it breaks it up. So I could use the same layer combination for sections, same layer combination for elevations, but each of the different types of plans, not every plan, obviously there's multiple stories, but each different type of plan will have to have a different layer combination, which corresponds with these. Hopefully that's clear enough. Now when I go through each one of these, so let's choose one at the moment, plan, floor, documentation, we see that lots and layers Lots of layers turn off and some layers are left on. And what that does is clean up the model by turning things off that shouldn't be visible. Everything has to have its own layer with the exception of things that are part of others. What do I mean by that? It was a bit confusing. Doors and windows don't have their own layer because we place a door and window into a wall, which means the window will be visible or invisible based on whether the wall is visible or invisible. So we have to have a layer combination for that. Similarly, a, a wall, sorry, a window tag or a window label is part of a window. So we can't individually using at least layers turn on or off a window tag, even though I, I have done that previously using just a 2D element. But in this case, these window tags are referenced. These tags we see are separate pieces of text, so these can be turned off. Uh, we could also create tags using our label tool, which means that they're referenced, but when we create a label, we can also 
create a layer for that or put that on an existing layer, which means we could turn it on and off as well. Dimensions are the same. So you see that I've got dimensions here, and the dimensions in this case are put on a layer called dims floor. What does this mean? I've tried to break up my layers in a way that's easy to find them and easy to manage them. So all the dimensions are together, dims for dimensions, for the different types of drawings. Um, overlay, just like the dimensions, the each of the overlay is every type of plan or every type of drawing has its own overlay layer. So a lot of things that are for the floor only will have an overlay for the floor. If something is for a ceiling, so let's now change this view again, Command L, Plan RCP. This will be for my reflected ceiling plan. So everything that's visible here, whether it's 2D, overlay ceiling or a 3D element so in this case it's a a truss and it's on the story sorry on the layer called ceiling structure uh, that's a layer that's only visible on the ceiling layers sorry ceiling drawings being the reflected ceiling plan and also the lighting plan because when I create a, a lighting plan I'm using the RCP, the reflected ceiling plan, is the basis for that. In the same way, when I'm creating an electrical plan, I use the floor plan as the basis for that. But just have extra layers turned on and extra layers turned off. So that's my approach. Uh, I find that this works quite well with ARCHICAD. There are other ways that we can do this, and sometimes I will use different settings. If we look at these settings here, the model view options, we can choose and we can create these as well, different types of drawings, so building plans, ceiling plans, so that turns on and turns off different parts of our drawings. So for instance, if we wanted to hide our doors and windows, personally, I don't think that we should be hiding the way that a door works in our ceiling plan. Now, uh, depending on how we understand a reflected ceiling plan, we're cutting through maybe the same place and looking up instead of down. Maybe we're cutting through above the door. So that might decide whether you choose to show this or not. But for me, if I'm creating a reflected ceiling plan, so what I've just done is switch over to the save view. So you can see that we have these drawings now. And if I click on my ground floor, and then I go into the settings of my ground floor, we see that it's got saved in it a layer combination, which makes it look the way it does. In the same way, we could go the reflected ceiling plan, and it's got a different layer combination. So that's the biggest change between these, which just means instead of having to go into the layer settings each time and change them, I can just double click and it will automatically take me to where I want to go. That's the biggest change. That's how it, it works generally. That's a, a very fast explanation of how layers and layer combinations work and how we can use those to distinguish between our different drawings. Once we've created these drawings, we can then place these onto our layouts. So what's a layout? A layout is a page. This has a view on it. If I open this view up, we see that that takes us back to this linked drawing. And I can go in and change the settings of this. I can change the layer combination, change the scale, change the pen sets, the graphic overrides, anything that I want. And that will automatically update on our layout book. So just to explain this process, the project map is where we put our basic information. It's where all of our information goes. Control L just to turn all the layers on. All of our information's on here. We then distribute or break up this information with things like layer combinations and model views and pen sets and a, a lot of different elements like that in order to be able to create saved views and we can see those when we go into our save view settings. These are the different ways we can change what we see in our save views. Then we place our save views onto layouts and then finally we can publish our layouts which means putting them in sets, maybe publishing them as PDFs or printing them or plotting them or creating um, BIMx files for those. And we can also find that publisher in a different way using the organizer. And I like the organizer because it allows us to create a split screen where we can have, for instance, our layout on the left-hand side and our publisher sets on the right-hand side. So 
I, I'm aware that I've been talking very fast. Hopefully you've been able to follow along, at least generally with what I'm saying. Um, you can always go back and watch the video again if you want to see that in more detail. This is just a very quick overview, um, and you can check out some of my other videos to see more detailed understandings of each one of these processes. Hope that was helpful.